Hey guys. All right. So for this activity, okay, you're going to have to find some things around the house, and they don't have to be exactly the same things as I have. Okay. But you'll be able to do this activity at home. All right. So we're gonna call this one which beak is best. All right. So you can. Uh, hopefully you remember when I was talking about the chicken beaks and how they are adapted to eating all kinds of stuff. Anything from fruits and vegetables to frogs, right? So as you know, different birds have different types of beaks, okay? Woodpecker has a strong beak that it uses to peck on a tree trunk to find bugs, right? Pelicans have beaks that are able to swoop some water and fish along with the water, right? And keep it in their big pouch. Um, hummingbirds have really long, thin beaks, almost like needles to be able to suck out nectar from flowers. All right. So different birds, different beaks for different reasons. All right. So when you are looking around, what I want you to find at home is a plastic spoon or you can use a real spoon if mom doesn't have any plastic spoons okay a clothespin okay or something similar to it maybe like a chip clip right that mom uses to close um chip bags that's been open and they sit in the pantry all right and tweezers now they don't have to be the super long ones like mine they can be shorter tweezers a lot of moms have tweezers so they can like their eyebrows. I don't know. I do. <laughs> All right. So those are your three different types of beaks. When I use your imagination. So spoon is a beak. Clip is a beak and a tweezers. That's also a beak. So your spoon could be like a pelican beak, right? It has that swoopy, um, swoopy, um, kind, right? Or it can hold things inside of it. This could be like a woodpecker, right? Really strong and flat. And this could be uh, your hummingbird. This could be your chicken. This could be your um, even a hawk, right? Okay, long and pointy. All right, you will also find some things around the house that could be food, all right? So I have several marbles in my tub. I have several marbles and uh, I'm going to pretend that those marbles are like snails or even grub worms because when grub worms are folded, they kind of look roundish and I can even pretend that those are fish. Okay. Then I have straws, several different straws and uh, mine are just cut uh, in different sizes. Okay. And you can pretend that those straws are worms, maybe even snakes. Okay. And then I have lots and lots of twigs. Okay. So those are just toothpicks, but I'm pretending those are twigs. All right. So which beak is best? Okay. Which beak is best adapted for what kind of food? So in order to find out, I have to do my investigation. All right, you are going to use a design process. Those, that's a process that scientists use to find information and do their investigation. The first step is to ask a question. My question is, which beak is best for what kind of food? Okay, then I'm going to explore. That's my next step. Okay, explore and uh, observe evaluate and then finally explain your findings okay that's a design process so you take a spoon and you decide okay you can even set a timer for say 20 seconds which food was best for this kind of beef okay was it the marbles was it the straws or was it the toothpicks okay what about my clip? Which food was best for catching? Okay, even if you manage to catch all of it, but which one was the easiest? Okay, and then finally, 
try with this type of beak, okay? Which one was the easiest? All right. Do your investigation, okay? Observe and decide which beak is best for which type of food. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.